All right, so let's say you got your games coming up. I've heard a few people, um, number one, they want to know about pathways, so I'll show you where custom pathways are uh, to make sure you've got them loading from the right place. Some people might be saying that there's no games coming up. I have shown this in previous videos, but I'll show you all the different fixes. Um, see, I've actually put a game on this hard drive. Um, that's another thing. If you're going big drives where you're putting all your games on, well, this is a 200 and 40 GB or 230 something um, my advice is to use an SSD and then use your adapter to it you know um, to your USB um, so that, that way you're a nice big drive and an SSD is using less voltage and um, works a lot faster and that way you won't get any glitching happening as well any loading problems uh, sometimes with the hard drive when you back out of a game to come back to this menu even though you've told it to come back to this menu sometimes it freezes and you have to turn off your Wii and start again if you're finding that's happening, it's because you, you just go put all your all your games on the SSD um, if it's on a big drive. Uh, but anyway, so your first fix uh, that we want to go to, of course, up here is that we square, depending on what version of the like, GX loaded. And you see here, Wii games or GameCube games. All right. So of course, if I click GameCube, they're both going to show up. Hey, so now I've got all my GameCube games and everything. Or if you want to go the other way, you just want your GameCube games to show up. Oops. Oh, we just go here, take off wheat, and go OK. And that'll be just your GameCube games. Um, now I have shown you with GX Loader, um, the custom GX Loader, the mod one. Uh, you can have it where it's got the menu of them all come up on a tab. But, this, yeah. but as this is the way of doing it, if you want to do it separate. But of course, that's why I'm doing all your GameCube games. So, um, there's as I want to do the Wii. I just want to show you. Actually, I've, got, I've just put a game on here just to show you what can be wrong. Uh, so, of course, I've just put on um, a copy of Far Cry Vengeance. Um, and you'll see here it hasn't come up. Alright, and I'm going to show you the reason why. There's two ways to sort out your USB. Of course, you can have a FAT32 or you can have an NTFS format when you format it. When you format it with a FAT32, of course, with these big drives, you actually have to use a thing called GUI Formatter. And what that'll do, that'll format no matter what size drive it is, 200, 500 GB, whatever it is, um, that will format it to a FAT32 for you. Um, and of course, that's what the, the Wii goes best with, you know, of course, was the FAT32. But that's also if you use um, the um, WBFS um, converter on your computer to convert the files to a WBFS. But I'll show you shortly how to do all that. Now initially, if you don't want to be converting things, you don't want to be running things for the computer you know, to change the format to all that sort of thing, you can get all your games running on NTFS. So when you format your USB, have NTFS. Um, and then put your games on here as they are as an ISO file or um, yeah, or as your WBFS straight file. But if it's not an NTFS and you've tried to put those files on a FAT32, it's not going to load up just like here. Far Cry has, it hasn't shown up. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fix that. And just a second here. Um, now, we've had a couple uh, questions as well about custom pathways. So you go into settings here. And then go over here. So some people might find the games aren't showing up, and it's going to depend too on your USB um, or your hard drive. You know, like if you're using a USB or SSD, make sure it's plugged into the USB slot that's closest to the edge of the Wii, um, and you should be fine. Now, if you've put your games on an SS on the SD card that's actually within the Wii, that's where you'll have to use your custom pathways. All right. Now, if you're watching this video because you've watched previous ones of mine and you've set up your uh, Nintendo exactly how I've shown you in my previous videos, these are the custom pathways that you want to have. Alright. So this will make everything go for you. Oops. Titles one, that's a major one to get your titles right. Make sure you've got them in the right places. So 
so then the USB loader actually knows where to load them up from all right so if you haven't got that set right it's not going to load it it's not going to know where to load them, load them from um, So if you've, if you've done all your settings the same as mine in previous videos, this is how you want to set everything up. Alright. Um, you'll notice sometimes, like here, this USB 1, and yet on the actual main thing of the game, I might have it on set on USB 0. Uh, but this should be right. But you know, that's how you do your custom pathways. Um, I'm not sure we want to get out of here. Right now, I'll quickly show you. As I say, Far Cry should be showing up, and it's not. So I'll show you how to what the problem is and how to fix it. <laughs> 